Hello, today we are doing some Pro 2s on Dirt Road. It's the, uh, the Charlotte Motor Speedway uh, Rally Cross Course, I guess is what they would call it. Uh, we're going to jump right into qualifying here. Um, green, green, green. So usually what happens with this series, or uh, you know, Dirt Road, is I do some practice and I'm feeling real good got some good laps in um, some real good times and then I get into the race and some just Greek gods yeah, show up and start having lap. like lap times 10 seconds faster than what I can do and I'm just left befuddled so that'll probably be what happens again here um, but that's cool um, it feels like I'm, I'm always at this track. It feels like the, this is the track we're always at, but uh, that's because there aren't too many options for dirt road. It's probably the least developed of the uh, disciplines on iRacing. Uh, they've really been adding to it lately, but still. Um, and I can only do the uh, the rookie races, or you know, the, the Pro 2 rookie series, or whatever you want to call it, because uh, I can't really just go out and pay for all the um, other tracks, as cool as they look, um, like Bark River and all that stuff, and uh, Crandon, those look cool, but uh, like I've said in some uh, road races before already, um, Oval's my main deal, so I want to make sure I can pay for all that stuff, and uh, that would be at the expense, you know, if I were to pay for this stuff, that would be uh, what I lose out on, being able to pay for those tracks that I care about most, so... Uh, but this is really fun. I do enjoy Dirt Road. Um, it's been a real, it was, it's quite a learning curve to get into because it's just so different, it feels like, from everything else. Um, but uh, I've slowly been getting better at it and, uh, you know, trying to improve myself. And uh, let's see, uh, is this clap going to be better in the first one? 52.9. What we got here? 52 or 53. Okay, 52 now. First lap is better. Um, and we get beat. So here come the Greek gods uh, <laughs> with uh, with their crazy lap times. Um, I'm ranked number three here. So I imagine the two guys ahead of me are going to be putting in some crazy laps. Um, number one and number two there. Uh, a couple of guys I recognized from practice. Um, they were a little behind. So I feel like I can, at the very least, so long as I don't flip over or get flipped over should probably be able to put in uh, put in some good laps so uh, we'll see uh, feel free to skip ahead to the start of the race since we got some downtime in between qualifying but uh, I do want to show qualifying I feel like uh, that's a kind of interesting little thing on its own because sometimes you run it a little differently than you would in a race I don't know about for dirt road but you know when you get on an old track and do a hot lap uh, It'd be pretty interesting because you're going all out and seeing how fast you can get and actually have a lot of fun doing uh you know trying to get the fastest lap in a practice session or something before the race it's kind of a fun way to pass the time i think that's pretty fun um these races uh don't always have the best uh, participation but we've got some decent um We've got some dis decent participants this time around. I think it split twice because it looked like we had about, maybe even three times because it looked like we had about 21 people signed up. So maybe there's like seven per or something. Uh, but obviously, like there's rookies in here because this is the rookie series. So um, I'd like to graduate and go on up to, uh, I think it's like, I don't know how they do the ladder on um, Dirt Road, but um, graduate to the next. Uh, the, they have like Pro 4s or something, like this is a Pro 2 Lite, and they have the regular Pro 2, um, I'd like to do that maybe once I get some, uh, funds, I can, uh, <laughs> start doing those, but, uh, for now, we'll be doing, you know, the Charlotte course, Daytona course, um, what else is there, if there's another one they go to a lot too, um, is it is Phoenix? No, we don't go to Phoenix, yeah we do, Phoenix, I think show up to every once in a while I can't remember it feels like it's always Charlotte and uh, Daytona though it feels like places we're always at 
but um, not too much of a wait, not much too um, much longer to go here. Just a couple seconds, and we'll get uh, right started. Um, making sure I got my steering ratio set to four to one. That seems to be the better way to go than the default at eight to one. That's just in my experience. Um, get in there, get the whole time best lap set up. Um, I always forget to take off the driving line. I just leave it on by default. I don't look at it. I just forget it's there. So sorry, that's gonna be there again. I, I I look past it so much that I've been putting it in my thumbnails when doing pictures. I just I don't see it at this point. <laughs> I ignore it so much. But uh, sorry about that. Um, what else we got going on here? Um, 10 laps. Got to do a joker. If you're unfamiliar with dirt road racing, they have what's called a joker lap, uh, which you got to do once a race. And it's like a little alternate course you do um, for one lap. And uh, kind of mixes it up a little bit. It's pretty interesting. Um, I'll use it to um, get away if we're like stuck in a pack. Pretty good. Um, get away from some people. That's what I'll probably do here. You know, maybe you catch a, a lap car or something, a lap truck, and they're going real slow, and you can take the joker. And sometimes the joker is a faster lap, and sometimes it's a slower lap. And this, at this course, it's a slower lap, but uh, it can help put some distance out there for you. So, uh, ready to focus up here, because it looks like just about everyone's on board. And uh, I want to get my revs just about right. I'm not, I'm not great at it yet, getting a launch. I know for a fact I'm not doing it quite right, but uh, it's better than what I used to do when I first started doing this, which is just like go without <laughs> revving at all, and then ending up in last no matter where I qualified. But uh, these starts are pretty scary. You start like three wide, as you can see. So, um, yeah, After round one, it's going to be left. interesting. Uh, whole race should hopefully be interesting in a good way. But uh, we'll see about that. All right. Get the revs going and uh, be ready. Green, green, green. Got 10 left to go. Right, got some space. Move over a little bit. Move on the inside. You're in the middle. Three wide. Three middle, down, what? Two wide. Middle three wide? Oh, no. Where? Spotter, please. Lay off the alcohol. Anyway. Going in turn one is uh, P2. Careful not to do something stupid and wreck my car, my truck. I'm going to say car a lot instead of truck. I'm sorry. Um, don't want to wreck it right off the start. Uh, let me not run into this guy either because he obviously knows what he's doing and I'm sure the last thing he wants is some loser to run into the back of him on the first lap. So. Kind of go left. All right, not what I wanted to see. That was some weird physics there, actually, because it looked like it kind of just grabbed him. Um, what a pass for the lead. Um, can this car turn? Am I broken? I said car again. I meant truck. I'm sorry. Um, well, that was a thing that happened. Um, yeah, I'm broken a little bit. It's not okay, turning quite right. right. Hopefully, you can. Uh, power through. We got some distance behind us, but uh, I know there's some fast guys out here, so I'm not gonna call it yet. <laughs> Plus, I uh, gotta not do what that guy did myself. Easier said than done. Yeah, a little hard there, also because my truck is not turning. I need to remember that when I'm entering a corner. It's uh, It feels like... Let me see, when I'm turning left, it's not turning quite right. I, it's like knocked sideways or something on the steering. So now I'm having a tough time getting it to turn, which, uh, <laughs> these trucks are already hard to turn enough already to begin with, so that's great. I uh, kind of jammed the brakes pretty hard going into that turn to get the, get the nose pointed in the direction I want. Double shifted back snap, but fine. off the gas. You don't need to hit the brakes there. You just use off the gas. I went a little wide because I can't turn. Um, I think I think 
you get the point. It's not turning quite right. That one I think I was just my fault though for going in too hard. I should probably just calm it down considering my nine second lead. <sighs> Use it around the inside. It's my race to lose at this point since my uh, the one big competitor guy kind of did whatever that was <laughs> in that corner. Get off my face, dirt. I'm thankful that we have unlimited tear-offs because uh, I use them pretty frequently. Feeling pretty good, though. I've gotten used to this track over time because, like I said, you don't have too many options when it comes to dirt road at this level. So, uh, I've gotten pretty familiar with these layouts even though I've done only, I don't know, Say like 20 something races. I need to take it easy. Uh, like 20, I think I was like at 26 races or something that total. Um, so, very inexperienced, but uh, feeling pretty good right now. You can, if you hit that right, you can carry some speed, but uh, it's really easy to start just ending up outside in that wall there. Take it just right. Here, if you you can make a lot of time right here if you figure out how to do the angle right. Uh, it's a fun corner. I enjoy that a lot. There, I took that unnecessarily close. It was a good turn, but if you uh, hit that on the inside there, you can easily flip your truck and suddenly you're. Uh, way in the back and out of luck. Is, has everyone wrecked? Look at all these people who leapt down. I guess they're all flipping over and, and all that. Yeah, see if you miss the angle on the corner too much, you end up all the way over here. Oh. Wow. They should really take it easy. Have some perspective, because Next closest guy, look, he's, what, 20 seconds fine? Oh, well. That's cool. I thought this was going to be a little, uh. thought I was going to be running around in third this whole time. I'm sure they, uh, those strong guys back there ran into some trouble, probably had some bad luck. That's why I'm here. Living with my broken truck. There's probably not a single guy in this race who hasn't had trouble. One interesting thing to watch out for is, actually, you know what, before I forget, let's, uh, let's take this joker lap, because I was about to forget, you're yapping the whole time, if you don't take your joker lap, then you're, you, completed the joker you get a penalty lap. at the end, and, uh, don't want that, so let's go ahead and take that, and maintain our lead still, feeling good. Uh, you can see on the bottom right, they've got those like crown looking things. Those, uh, if they're filled in in blue, that means that driver has taken their joker lap. And if they're still hollowed out, that means they have yet to take it. And you gotta take one. You can't take zero, and you can't take two or more. So, get that out of the way. Alright. So. I imagine everyone's had some trouble in this race, given what we're looking at here. Um, <laughs> it might be an, in an interesting uh, incident replay to watch. Probably lots of trucks flipping over and all that. This has got to be crazy to drive in real life. Like, such a real and often chance you get to, uh, flip and end up hanging from your seatbelt. <laughs> Alright, got a guy uh, catching up behind me. This is the guy that uh, is probably faster than I am. And he's probably got a new uh, truck. So when he catches me, I'm just going to let him on by. Because I don't need any unnecessary adversity. I hope he doesn't blame me for what happened. I don't know how he would, but maybe he thinks I got into his right rear and sent him into the wall like that. It's hard to know what people are thinking sometimes, because 
I've seen uh, people retaliate for less against me, even. You know, they misunderstood what happened and haven't looked at the replay yet, so they fly into you out of anger, and then later they're like, "Oh, I see what happened." Haha, <laughs> sorry. You're just a mangled mess on the side of the road. So, this guy might be trying to prove a point by catching and passing me, saying like, if I hadn't wrecked it, I would've beat you. So, let him Bye bye. Have fun. Clear on the left. Have a good day at school. I packed a lunch for you. Alright. <clears throat> Coming to the white flag here. Gave him some space. Gave myself some space. Took the Joker. Feeling good. Riding around in third for some reason, even though I should have been in second. Gear, that is. Mm -mm. I'm just taking it easy. Especially because it almost feels like my steering problems are getting worse. It's probably just all in my head. We are going to find ourselves to an easy win, and that feels great. It actually took a really long time for me to get my first win because of that whole, uh, you know, the Greek god show up and set 10 second <laughs> lap times faster than me type of thing that happens. Um, so it took me a long time to get my first win. I ended up finishing second like six times in a row before I got my first win. It was like, uh, it was like a cruel joke at some point and I finally broke through and got a win and I think this is my third now so all right I think this is the first win I've had on my uh on my channel to upload because I didn't upload the AFIX race I won that was at Daytona that was just a uh, unbelievably boring race hopefully this one is a little more interesting and uh go ahead and send this one out to you guys give it a park we'll take a look at what happened and uh oh wait I gotta celebrate. What am I doing? Let me find a place to celebrate. Let me make sure that the race is over first, because uh, until the uh, everyone is finished, you uh, can still get incident points if you start burning out too early. So we'll just make sure we get back to the checkered. Do a little donuts. Maybe go off the ramp a funny way. <laughs> it's fun. It's kind of like you earn the right to be a goofball when like winning a race. <clears throat> So yeah, there we go. So you can see the time remaining went from, what, like 15 seconds or whatever to the different number. It means that uh, we're no longer counting down till the end of the race, so. All right, winners. Okay, the race is over, bring it on in. Let's go ramp off into the sunset. Oh my God! We like to have fun here. All right, incidents. Stop wasting your time. <laughs> Do not try that at home. So let's see what we got. Five car, just bumping a little bit. Two cars out of shape. <laughs> Why didn't we get to look at that? Oh man, that's rough. He was another guy that was probably gonna be pretty fast because he's in third right here. Looks like he just got on it a little too hard, and that's some real bad luck, because he's not getting out of that one. That is his new home, so he's going to have to <laughs> he's gonna have to um, exit out. He's being stubborn, though. Oh, maybe? He probably would have made better time if he just went to the pits, to be honest. Nope, nope, he got out of it. What a pro. So... He got out of that and still finished third. Uh, 36 <laughs> seconds behind, but his, uh, his stubbornness paid off for him, I suppose. Um, we didn't get to look at uh, the, the leader at the time doing that thing that happened. Yeah. Poor guy who probably sh should have won the race. So I hope I didn't make this worse for him. I'm just expecting like to follow back behind him, but he gets two turned and then his wheel gets caught. I mean, I 
hate that I flipped him like that, but first of all, kind of weird physics there to catch him right there like that. It just brings him to a stop, and then what am I to do with that? And then he's flipped, and, uh, well, that was that, I guess. That is, uh, very unfortunate. It would have been nice to race against him and fight for the win. He probably would have pulled away, but... That's a bummer. Um, anyway, let's take a look here. What else happened? Looks like a whole lot of nothing there. That's it. Not sure how, maybe the incidents don't work too well on Dirt Road, because it looks like we're seeing a bunch of nothing. Except for this guy, maybe? No, nope. he's doing just fine. Looks like he was about to take the Joker there for a second. But, uh, changed his mind, or I guess he was just angling it. I guess the way that you take that corner kind of just looks like someone's about to pull over into the Joker. Uh, I don't think the incidents are working too well, unfortunately. We're just seeing a bunch of guys driving. Well, we got to see that. That looks like what uh, the one truck would have done had I not been behind him to uh, send him to Turtleville. Eh, not too much to see, so I guess that's going to have to be that. Um, does he get hit by someone coming out of the pits? Yeah, that's kind of dangerous because you have to come out on track when you come out of the pits. And uh, it's almost like a figure eight track at that intersection. It can lead to some unfortunate results. But, uh, yeah, well, it's like all we're going to see, so. Thanks for watching. Got to see you. Uh, got to get a win today. Started second, got first, and uh, we got... Two incidents. That's not too bad. I thought it was worse than that. I thought I got four um, run into that guy, so uh, pretty good. Can't go much better than that overall, I guess, so thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed something a little different.